Bring back in our panel, retired U.S. Army Brigadier General Mark Timmett, former Congresswoman Jane Harmon, and former FBI counterterrorism agent Tim Clemente. Uh, General, let me start with you. It's been uh, about a year and a half since President Obama was quoted in The New Yorker referring to ISIS or ISIL as the JV team. Obviously, he has readjusted, uh, recalibrated his estimation of this horrific terrorist group. Um, how would you grade the policy the president has in place to fight ISIS? What grade would you give it? Well, the policy execution, I would say, since he announced this policy nine months ago, I'd give him a solid D. A D? A D. The fact is, the United States is no safer, the region is no more stable, and ISIS is expanding. Now, in his defense, we have been using the term the long war for the past decade. John Abizade, as a commander of CENTCOM, used to talk about al-Qaeda and the long war, this generational struggle that we're going to be fighting. And in fact, that's just a continuation of what we're seeing of what we are seeing today. So maybe nine months is too much to ask, but the optimistic tone and the progress that I heard, I don't think is matched either in terms of the threats against the United States, the stability in the region, or the capability of the Islamic State. Congresswoman? Um, yes, but uh, military tools aren't going to win this, as we've discussed. Uh, and so what else needs to happen? Yes, he stood with a bunch of generals with earned medals on their chests. Uh, and there are many others who also have done amazing work, and he thanked them, as he should have. Uh, but the pieces that need to be filled out are the political piece, as we've just discussed. And I was very pleased to hear him say that Syria needs to transition to a pluralist government without Assad. I mean, it's very clear that Assad has to go. Now, uh, I guess our play is that the people in, in Syria need to push Assad out. We're not going to do it. And I, I can make some arguments in favor of that. But Bashar does have to go. Let's get our heads around that. And that will help our recruiting effort to get and train some folks on the Clearly ground to target. Clearly not a priority right now. Though. Well, uh, it should be a priority. That's one of my points I, that I would say. And the second thing is social media. And he did mention that. But if we don't get ahead of the game on social media and understand how people are recruited and how their heads are turned, uh, we're never going to get ahead of this problem. And that's what's going to keep America safe beyond any generals with uh, earned medals earned medals and, on and their a DOD medals on their uh, press Just to reintroduce you to the audience, you're, you're a former counterterrorism agent with the FBI. Yes. What did he have to say that that impacted you and, and your skill set, your knowledge? Well, I think the one thing we're missing is human intelligence on the ground there. And as part of the intelligence community, the FBI, the CIA, and the military intelligence, we all work together on the ground. I spent over a year in Iraq. I have a lot of friends that are still there, Iraqis on the ground there. And the problem is, without human intelligence, without having the eyes and ears on the ground, moving about, situational awareness that what's happening here and now, we're blinded, and our, our airstrikes from 35,000 feet are ineffective if we don't have targeting information and if we don't have personnel on the ground directing us to, as to where the assets that we should be targeting are. And that's why we've only had so many airstrikes, because we exactly. don't know where to, Can I make to, to bomb. I have to take a break. I'm so sorry, Congresswoman Jane Harman, uh, Brigadier General Kimmett, and, and uh, Tim, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Great conversation.